Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show, so everybody let's go, check out my video, if you wanna get it right, come join Delicious Bites, check it, check it, video, check out my video, welcome back to my channel everyone, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well, so you never miss out on another video delicious bite and if you've been in it for a minute I thank you so much for coming on back Father God I thank you for this meal I'm about to receive Lord bless it make it nourishing to my body I thank you Father God for my friends family and subscribers and for how you protect them and keep them safe Lord I thank you for every single thing every single day amen so you guys I am back with another mukbang and today we have a cheeseburger stuffed burger that's what it is and on the side, I've got some, they're not sweet potato fries, they're carrot fries. Yes, carrot fries. Um, and this is on a pretzel bun, toasted pretzel bun. And I have mayo. I don't have ketchup mustard because I didn't want it. Um, the cheese inside is cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack cheese, Gruyere cheese, and Swiss. And I just have some red onion and tomato. And I'm going to try to cut this in half, you guys. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> it's big. So how's everybody doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am doing wonderful, blessed, and highly favored. I know I had a um, salad yesterday. Now today I'm eating a big old cheesy burger. It'd be like that sometimes, y'all. My mouth is already watering. Let's see what we got going on in the inside. Let me see. Let me see. Look at that. Done perfectly. Look at all that cheese. Yum. Whew. Y'all get your bite. I'm about to get my bite and hope it don't burn my mouth because you know hot cheese is like hot lava. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. I get my napkin. Wow. That was seasoned perfectly. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to try this little carrot fries. I've never made carrot fries before. Okay. This tastes like a cooked carrot, y'all. <laughs> Nothing special. I just seasoned them with some pink Himalayan sea salt and some avocado oil. I sprayed them and then I put them in the air fryer. I'm just drinking water. Mm -hmm. But this burger is nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's almost too big to bite, but I'm making it work. <laughs> That's good. I was going to do this with portobello mushroom caps um, to keep from eating so much bread, but a pretzel bun was calling me. So, we got pretzel bun. This is so good. If you guys have not done a cheeseburger stuffed burger on your channel or in your home if you don't have a channel, Give it a shot. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know what y'all thinking. Y'all thinking why she didn't ever at me. I'm telling you, sometimes I just crave it. Mm -hmm. What y'all doing today? It's 90 degrees. I told you in my last video it was going to be a day this week that was going to be super hot. It's today. 90. Mm. So for me, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't going outside. <laughs> I ain't pulling no weeds. I ain't doing nothing. It's got to cool off. Mm. Mm -hmm. I saw a famous Dave's burger seasoning in the store the other day and I bought that and that's what I seasoned this ground beef with that, some onion powder, some garlic powder some salt, some pepper, and it is good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this would have been a lot healthier because I chose carrot fries if I had chose portobello mushroom caps for the bun. It would have been a lot healthier. And it would have tasted great, I'm sure, but I wanted the bread. You guys, line dance, then start it back up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they out there in them streets. I was talking to my cousin Sabrina today, a little bit ago, before I start cooking dinner. Ooh. And she had asked me. How was I holding up without my line dance? Because, you know, I love my Thursday night. And she used to go, too. But work got busy for her. And she quit going. But anyway, I told her I'm holding up just fine. Because I can jump around here at home. I'm, I'm not going out there for line dance because it's just not that serious for me. But I did tell her that it had started back up. And she was like, what? Really? I said, mm-hmm. I said, but I ain't going. <laughs> I let my sister know that it had started back up. But we not going. They have posted on Facebook. Talking about line dance class, we started back. And everybody come on back out. I said, bring your fan and wear your mask. <laughs> mm -mm. Nope. That don't even sound right. Bring your fan? Okay. We do handheld fans at Line Dance. That's what we're talking about. The really big ones that open up and you can fan. But if it's that hot that you got to bring your fan, and it is, and you got to bring your mask, which makes you hotter breathing in all your own hot air, and then you try to jump around and do some line dances, some of them line dances is fast. No. You're going to be done fell the heck out. 
Mm. Mm -mm. That's not a good combination. <laughs> Dancing with that mask on. I can barely breathe with an arm at work. And I'm not jumping around dancing. So I can't imagine. And some of the people that go to line dance are older than me. They're going to be them fell out. They're going to be them fell out. And I'm sorry. Yes, I'm a nurse. But if you crazy enough to be at line dance, with a mask on, jumping around in your late 50s, early 60s, and you fall out, I, I call 911. I'm not going to breathe on nobody, none of that. Mm -mm. Not with Rona. No, I'm not. That's why I'm not going. <laughs> it won't even be a decision I have to make because I'm keeping my child at home. You can't social distance that, like I've said. You can't. I can't do it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is so good. I'm going to be stuffed. Y'all know I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> when I finish this, I'm going to go somewhere and lay down. Mm. And the lady that actually teaches line dance, she's in her 70s. So, she really needs to be careful. She's going to be up there in the little DJ area. She needs to have a line drawn or taped on the floor that says, don't pass this line. Because a lot of people are used to going up to her talking to her, having requests for songs or dances that they want to do. She's very sweet. We've known Linda for years and years and years. And I always go up to her at the end of the night and talk to her and hug her and tell her, I love you, Linda. I see you next week. You be safe. I can't do that now. And I wouldn't do that now. And some people are going to be silly and ain't going to respect social distancing. You can't be up there hugging on her. And not know if you got something that can kill her or not. So, I don't know. She's going to need her little line drawn that says, don't come up here. Love me from a distance. <laughs> and just wave at me and say, hey. Y'all need something to binge watch. Ain't nothing good on TV. So I need something to binge watch, like um, Netflix or Hulu or something. What y'all watching? Let me know. Mm. Mm. Comment down below. Let me know what you're watching so I can watch it too. Because I'm running out of shows, y'all. I need something new. Mm -mm. So, so good. Mm -hmm. 
work went well. Things are slowing down, if you know what I mean by things. So I was happy about that. Now that things are slowing down, hopefully our surgery schedule will pick up and get back to work as usual. Mm -hmm. I know I'm probably late on the uptake of things going on. I usually am. <laughs> I try to stay current, but I'm probably a little late on this one, but Mm. 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 But I saw that all of the police officers involved in the murder of George Floyd have been have lost their jobs and are going to trial. So or are being charged, put it that way. All of them, not just one. So, that's a, a not a good thing. You know what I mean. It's not a good thing that that man is gone, but it's a good thing that justice hopefully will prevail. So many times bad things happen and people get away with it. So. They're not going to get away with it. I'm terrified they're not bad. I should have seasoned them a little more with something else. Hmm. I have to think of what. Ooh, I should put some fry seasoning on them. That's what I should have done. I'll do it next time. I want that seasoning. Mm. That seasoning that I keep saying on, I think, Instagram. That makes everything you put, put it on, tastes like bacon. No matter what you put it on, it makes it taste like bacon. I want that seasoning. I don't know where to get it, though. Maybe I'll check on Amazon. Because that probably would have been a nice touch on this or on those. Hmm. I'll try it. I got my pretzel buns at all these. They're good. Last little bite. After this week, you guys are on vacation for a week. I know you said, didn't you just have vacation in May? Mm-hmm. Yes, I did. I'm going to have it again, too, in June. <laughs> I'm going to skip my week in July. And I'm going to keep my week in August. Oh, there's much going on in the world. I need some... Stress relief. I need a break. 
I need to be able to sleep in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, care fries. <laughs> mm. All right. Nice. Nice meal. <clears throat> All right, so prayers of comfort and hope, holding on to faith. Let's see what the Lord got in store for us today. What is the good word? Let me That is good. Okay. <clears throat> the remedy for discouragement is the word of God. When you feed your heart and mind with its truth, you regain your perspective and find renewed strength. This comes from Warren Wearsby. And that is so true. When you're feeling discouraged, like I get sometimes, and like I'm sure we all get, feeling a little lost, pick up the word of God. You will find encouragement in his word. Just got to look. It's there. So that is the good word for today. I hope it helped. So you guys, I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you like this content, and I truly hope you do, and you'd like to see more from me. Please give this video a big fat thumbs up because that tells YouTube you like my content and it will keep pushing it out. So that will help me share me out, watch some of my old videos, run my playlist. Anything you can do to help me out is greatly appreciated. I love you guys. I love interacting with you in the comments. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed. Be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. That'll be tomorrow. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.